Hey, this is a video showing how to daisy chain amplifiers in stereo mode or uh, probably what's more commonly called a two-channel mode. We have another video on YouTube that shows how to daisy chain amplifiers in bridged mode, but in doing in bridged mode, it's all done in mono. So this is a video in how to do uh, daisy chaining with uh, amplifiers in stereo mode. So in this particular video, we're going to be using this amplifier, this one, and this one. These two up here are uh, the 2502s. This one down here is a 3602. Uh, it won't matter. The, I mean, the, the sizes and power won't matter for what we're doing here. This will just show how to uh, daisy chain in stereo mode. Okay, here we are at the back of the amplifier rack. And amplifier here, here, and the one right here. We are going to daisy chain these in stereo mode. So the first thing we got to do is just make sure, and uh, really it depends on your amplifier, because not all amplifiers have uh, parallel inputs on them. Meaning, this is an input here, this XLR connection, and this uh, quarter inch phono connection here, these two are together. So if I've got a board that doesn't have an XLR input and only a quarter inch output, I can connect it in here. And if my board has an XLR input, I can connect it into here. So both of these are tied together, and the same with these two down here. These both are tied together. So if your amplifier does not have these parallel types of inputs, it can be a little difficult to daisy chain amplifiers. So what we want to make sure of in looking at this is that if you have a uh, input configuration. Now, I don't know if you can see this one that well, but it's set on stereo. I can do bridge, stereo, or a parallel connection here. You want to make sure that they're all set in stereo. All the way down the line, everything should be set in stereo mode. And also, this is important, while we're at it, make sure your clip limiter is on. All the clip limiters should be on. You definitely don't want your amplifier clipping. And if there's any other kind of configurations, on these we want to set the configurations to protect the amplifier and this particular one uh, for channel one channel two and this goes down all the same with the rest of the amplifiers we've got a low cut filter here at 33 hertz all of them are set at 33 hertz and actually if i wanted to i could set a filter on this one right here uh this top switch and it's the same with the ones down there but for this top switch i've just got it set to full Okay, so what we're going to be doing is taking the right output of the mixer and we're going to be connecting it into this input here. And the left output is going to go into this connection right here. So the board is going to be in stereo. If you only have a mono output on a board, this uh, probably will not work. You can give it a try, but I don't think it's going to work for you to have it in true stereo mode. Okay, we want to make sure that the amplifiers are off while we're doing this. We don't want to cause any problems. So the first thing we got to do is we got to get that channel 1. Get channel 1 that is right here. And we need to send it down to channel 1 to the amplifier below it. Now, in the other video that I have, I've got uh, cables uh, connecting the amplifiers, chaining the amplifiers together, and I'm going to be using those same cables. But uh, because we're doing this in stereo mode, it's going to take twice the number of uh, jumper cables. So keep that in mind. All right, so let's get ourselves set up here, a little bit of room. We'll go over this. All right, so number one. So even though we've got it sitting on the input there, we're actually coming into here, and, it, and because these connections are parallel, it's going to come out this connection here. These are both going to be the same thing. Okay, I sort of changed the angle here a little bit. Makes it hopefully a little bit easier to see. There we go. Okay, so we're coming out of this top one up here, and we're going to be connecting into uh, channel one of the amplifier below it. Pretty basic, just like in that mono one. 
But the difference here is we're going to be taking channel two coming out of there and we're going to be connecting to it down here. Let's see if we can get a better shot of this. There we go. So hopefully you can see the uh, logic flow there. Now, now we've got those two amplifiers connected and we're going to be connecting that bottom one there. Uh, actually, not the bottom one, but the uh, third one down. And we're going to be doing the same thing on it, just like we did the top one. Okay, and then we're coming out of channel two. And we're going into channel two here at the bottom. Okay, so... We've got our connections open right here because this is where the input's going to be coming in from the board. And we've got the connections daisy chained one after the other all the way down here to our third amp. Now, if we wanted to, if we had other cables, and believe me, it uh, takes a lot of cables. If we wanted to, we had other cables, we could daisy chain the signal in stereo all the way down to the other amplifiers in the rack. But for this exercise, we're just going to be using these top three amplifiers. Okay, now that they're connected, let's go ahead and, and turn on the power to the amplifiers. All right, we're ready to turn on the amplifiers, and we want to make sure that the attenuators are always down. We don't want to turn anything on, have some kind of a pop. Okay, now we shouldn't, now for these particular amplifiers here, we shouldn't see any other lights on except for the blue ones. That indicates power. The other lights below it would indicate if the amplifier is in mono or if the channels have been uh, set to parallel, which we do not want. We want a true two-channel amplifier uh, for this to work. All right, amplifiers are on. So now what we're going to do is uh, let's plug in the outputs from the board. So we're going to have two outputs coming from the board. Okay, here we have the right channel coming out of the board. We're going to connect it right into there. And we've got the left channel coming out. These are the only connections that we need to make from the board. So they're coming in from the board and it's sending the signal down to the other amplifiers. The left is separate and the right is separate. Okay, so let's go around front and let's take a look at the let's take a look at the meters. Okay, amplifiers are on. And because we are doing this in stereo mode, two channel mode, we need to make sure that the attenuators on the amplifiers, uh, both left and right, are going to be turned all the way up. Now, of course, depending upon the environment that you're uh, providing sound for, you may not want to have these attenuators turned all the way up. But for in here, for, uh, for what we're doing, this should work out just fine. All right, so attenuators are up, amplifiers are on, the uh, cables are connected and back, so let's give this a try. Okay, first things first, there we go. Check, one, two. Check, one, one, two. And as you can tell, the signal is hitting both channels, which is fine because we've got the, uh, we got the pan set right in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pan to the left and I'm gonna talk and then I'm gonna pan to the right and I'm gonna talk. Test, one, two. Okay, this is your left channel. It's coming through. Test, one, two. Okay, this is the right channel. Test, one, two. Check, one, two, right. Check, one, two, center. Check, one, two, left. So this is a true two-channel daisy chaining of the amplifiers. And the one thing to know about this 
is all you're doing is daisy chaining a signal. You are not combining power of all the amplifiers into one speaker. This is not what this is. We're combining, I'm sorry, we are taking the signals and replicating them, passing the signals on to the other channels. Now, in the back of the amplifier, we had those uh, speaker outputs. You would have to attach a speaker cable to each of those outputs uh, for, for this to work, for you to be able to hear something. You cannot just attach speaker cables to one of the amplifiers and think you're going to get all of this power out of one amplifier. That's not what this is. So, there you go. Now you know how to daisy chain an amplifier in a two-channel mode. Hope you enjoy it. Talk to you later.